Out of this giant field of flowers to talk about NVIDIA's new Pascal stuff for laptops. So they've introduced the 1080, 1070, and 1060, all for laptops, and um, they're making a huge deal out of this because they gave us some numbers here, just like for reference, they brought up their, their marketing team, and they came out and they're like, hey, listen, uh, over the last several years, you know, the Xbox has declined by 4%, the uh, PS4 has gone up by 4%, but mobile gaming on laptops has gone up by 30%, and over the last uh, five years, it is nine times better now than it used to be. So the mobile gaming market is huge. They also own 90 to 95% of that market. I mean, AMD doesn't really have an offering right now. So what they've done with Pascal is they've made their stuff more efficient and they've taken the desktop parts and put those into the laptops with a few minor changes, like some tweaks on the, I guess the 1070 is slightly different. And then uh, you'll see some frequency differences uh, here and there. So first off, let's go ahead and cover the specs and then we'll talk about all the other stuff that's going on here. So the 1080, um, they say that the TDP is going to be somewhere around like a 980, like that was in the last generation um, uh, laptops. They did not tell us what the uh, the stock clock is going to be on that yet. And then uh, they said it's about 10% uh, within 10% of the performance of a desktop, sometimes equal to the performance of a desktop. They said you have to measure it 4K because um, that's the way to show off the muscle of the GPU, and it sort of negates the fact that the um, the CPUs are slightly slower over on the laptops. 1070. We saw one MSI uh, notebook push it to uh, 2063, so pretty high up there. That's with the overclocking. Then we've got the 1060, uh, 1280 CUDA cores, and it runs at 1670. I said you can expect these to start, uh, the 1060s that is. Um, you'll see some laptops out there starting at around 1300 bucks, and they didn't tell us what the uh, 1070 or 1080 models were going to, uh, going to cost. All right, so people were looking at this and they were like, you know, Pascal, laptop, it's kind of like overkill. Why do we want that? We don't, we, we can't do any more than like, you know, 60 hertz is on, on a typical laptop monitor. So they've got epic mode now, 120 hertz. They've been working with some of the uh, different laptop manufacturers out there. And you're going to be, you're going to be seeing 120 hertz refresh rates with G-Sync on a lot of these units. The other options are going to be, uh, you know, 4K, uh, 2K possibly. And then uh, there's going to be some that are running at 75 hertz, some that are running at 120 hertz, some that are running at uh, 60 hertz with, you know, full 4K support. So lots of different flavors and options out there for that. Another thing that's kind of interesting about this, if you guys go for, uh, you know, like a 1080p monitor, uh, you may be able to use, you know, the DSR where it's, it takes 4K and it down samples it to 1080p. So you'll be able to do that on your laptop. Also, another thing that's really cool about this, if you're going to be running extra displays, the, uh, all the ports on the laptop are going to be powered directly from the GPU. So they have something they call dual FET power design, and it's really just extremely high uh, power density. And there's also some multi-phase power controllers, and that's mainly just to make sure that everything's efficient, and uh, they want to make sure that you're, you're delivering really clean um, you know, power to the GPU. Now, the TDP is going to be limited on this because it is a laptop, uh, but they're able to get you know squeeze a little bit more out of it thanks to the dual FET technology, uh, so you're getting you know power density right there, but you're not going to be able to do any overvoltage with overclocking. Not going to happen but you will be able uh, to go in an overclock. So um, some of these units can get 200, 300 extra megahertz because, you know, Pascal does overclock really well. So might be, uh, you know, the lottery, might be, you know, trying to find the unit that has the biggest, um, you know, air intake and then seeing how far you can push it. Next up, let's talk about their battery boost technology. So um, you'll have some options now with their battery boost. You can go in and set it for extreme image quality, uh, longevity of battery life, or performance. So just go in there, and go in there and pick you know whatever profile you like the best. Now these are all going to be VR ready when plugged in, so that's cool. But when they're not plugged in, they say no, no, these are not VR ready when they're not plugged in. So you may take a performance hit, but they say also you're going to get about 30% more uh, as far as the battery life goes with just this generation compared to uh, Maxwell. This unit's also going to be uh, you know supporting VR works of course because it's Pascal. And there's about 30 titles out right now that take advantage of that. You've got the you know ray traced audio going on with that, and a whole bunch of other things. So that's cool. And then you're also going to be able to use Ansel. Let's turn off Ansel over here on this ASUS GL502 that features uh, GTX 1060 and G-Sync. And um, if you guys have been living under a rock, Ansel will allow you to jump into a game as long as the game has some hooks for it. You know they tie into the game, and you can pretty much take over the the, the camera in the game, run around, take pictures, add filters of your own. And then you've got some pretty cool uh, output formats that you can use. The main thing here with this is you can uh, upscale the image 32 times, whatever your re resolution is. So you can produce some huge 
images where you don't even see the pixels. You can also do, um, you know, fully like surround like 3D or I guess spherical images. And then like you see right here, you can put on, you know, a VR headset and look around at the image or just use your phone to look around with the image. That can be pretty cool. Support for Witcher coming very soon. I guess that about sums up the whole uh, Pascal experience you're gonna have on the laptops. They expect this to be huge and pretty much every vendor is going to have some models. They also uh, assured us that, hey, this is not going to affect the supply of the desktop models because I know that there's some supply and demand issues there going on with that. So they say, don't worry, it won't, affect, you know, it won't affect the supply with that. So what you guys should do now is go check out the video where I cover lots and lots of these uh, notebooks. They have a whole bunch of them on display. So go ahead and check out that video and uh, be sure to check out all the benchmarks there. We did take a look at uh, you know some 1070 and some 1080 benchmarks. Just a few games. Uh, once we get some of these in the studio, uh, we'll actually benchmark them, overclock them, and see what we can do. But for now, uh, here's a few tentative benchmarks that we did here at the event. This is like the most technology I think that's ever been in that building over there. Look at how serious that is. He's into this, he knows I'm here. The emotion, the focus, the tenacity, the dedication. One man stands wearing a ridiculous thing on his head, waving things around that don't do anything in the real world. That's enough of that. <laughs>